I got a request for a tour of my bookshelf. So for those who are interested, here is my home library. I always wanted floor to ceiling books. So I put together these four bookshelves, uh, inherited or collected one way or another. And I was lucky in that these two bookshelves on top happened to just perfectly line up with the bookshelves on the bottom. So somehow these four mismatched bookshelves come together to make this home library. So the organization is a mix of genres and just the sizes of the books. So as much as I would like to have whole sections where it's nothing but one genre together, based on the book sizes, they are somewhat distributed around. So here I will use this bamboo pole to point to my books. Starting over here, we have ancient history, classical history, decline and fall of the Roman Empire, going into medieval history. Then we have the war section, general war, going into modern wars. Then we have politics, general political works. And over here we have a Bible dictionary, many thousands of pages. Going down here we have horror and fantasy going into my children's books and then into travel. Lots of travel books and then over here adventure, pirates and exploration. Over on the next level I have linguistics, history of linguistics, writing systems, then the English language in particular, then literary books, libraries, book design, journalism, books about writing, aphorisms. And here we have my fiction section, so roughly, roughly chronological, going through ancient classical writings, through medieval, and into modern books. And over here, we have theatrical, everything to do with plays. Then we have ancient plays and a whole bunch of Shakespeare and then some modern plays. Down here at the bottom of my upper deck, I have my selection of books that I would like to read soon. Here I have Sacred Geography time in the art of living. Now going into mythology. And here I have some religious books going into collection of Chinese Eastern religious books, Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism. Over here, I have some practical books like trails, Sand castles, backpacking, the art of travel, so more travel books. And, oh, look at this, uh, unsorted, various sort of philosophical stuff. There we go, philosophy, we'll call it. Down here, have the oversized musical scores for piano. Love my Bach and Beethoven especially. Now down here, psychology, going into philosophy. Oh, I'm going backwards now through into ancient philosophy. Then into some of the world's religions, occultism, and here Judaism and Christianity. 
and into some Chinese scriptures. And down here at the lower levels, we have some music, scores in general, music books, art. There are some crime thrillers going into law, business, medicine, geography, and astronomy. Down to my Toronto collection, books about my hometown Toronto, genealogy, and math and puzzles. Then over into collection of sports, going into humor, and a pile of papers. Way down here, we have a collection of oversized books here, some classics, oversized, some more religious books, role-playing games, children's books, kind of a catch-all there. And here we have history, oversized, with some Canadian history, going into anthropology, and then my anthropological linguistics, and throw in some pyramids and some adventure. And then, not even fitting on the shelf, the overflow, we have the really big books that just will not fit, historical atlases, and some board games. Most of these books I haven't read yet, and many of them I probably never will. But I love having them here as an opportunity that I might read them. And even just looking at the side of each book is, each book is like a possible world in itself, just sitting there. And uh, it's like, it's become part of the wall, but it's like a living wall that at any point you can pull one brick out of that wall and it becomes a whole world to itself. So in principle, I like to not have too many possessions and there is a great lightness and a great advantage to be had by not having too many things. But I have to say I am quite fond of this little corner of my room.